Hey y'all, today on the farm is the day we've been waiting on, the first day of the southern pea harvest. It is June the 13th, 2022. Today is the first day we're going to really get after it on the peas. It is a Monday. We started hand picking a little bit on Friday. We got a few peas just to shell them out, see how it was going. But we're going to pull the machine in here and get after them hardcore today. And we'll be picking peas from now till maybe maybe mid-july i typically finish mid-july i'm hoping to finish earlier than that this year um we planted earlier so we're hoping to to try to get it all done in june first week of july but we'll see we'll see how it goes but this is what we're dealing with so we have a majority of our peas are green we have a few yellow ones in here and then of course we got these immatures the machine is going to pick everything and so i'm not going to get anything out of that that, those, none of those are going to give me anything. And then I'm going to have some that are over mature. Like this here. That's no good. So you got you to gotta try to pick your battle. You got to get it just right, right there in the middle where you get the most peas out of your harvest. You wait too long. You have dried up peas in there. You get it too early. You don't have enough peas in there. So it's a trick to time it just right. It's not something that we have mastered yet. We we were two days, a day or two late last year. Had too many dried up peas in there. So we're getting out here early. I planted peas in five different plantings this year. So we can pick this planting and we can say, hey, that was too early or that was too late. And then on the next planting, we can adjust. So here we go. can we come back and pick them again? While technically it doesn't kill the plants, it takes all the leaves off the plant. You're left with nothing but stems. So you may come in here, fertilize your road middles, run a plow through here, and they may reflower and you get another picking but it would be more efficient to come in here and just hair this up and get a second planting because your second harvest off this if you if you take into account the cost of the fertilizer the cost of plowing your second harvest isn't going to cover that cost because your second harvest isn't going to be as good as this first harvest so it's better if you want to get two harvests to come in here the day after you pick this, cut it in and replant. I don't do that. I plant enough that we can, we get one picking and we're done with it.
height of the head. If the head's too low, you pick dirt up, it's hard to separate the dirt from the peas. If the head's too, too high, you may miss some peas that are low on the vine. You gotta have it just right. Let's go to lunch now. These are all the peas that Paxton picked this morning. 14 bags. He got 14. I picked seven or eight before I picked him up. They're already down there at the shelling plant. We're gonna go get us some cold water and a sandwich, cool down, put these in the shade, come back and get on this afternoon.
quarter after nine. We're still rolling out here. And the reason is, it was sunny all day today. The field temperature reached right at 100 degrees. No clouds in the sky. Let's say tomorrow is gonna be just like today. And the problem with that is, with no clouds, direct sunshine, a lot of heat, the peas will mature more than a day's worth of maturity in the course of the day. So just in the course of today, because of all the direct sunshine and heat, these peas matured three days worth of maturity today. If I had a cloudy day, like it was gonna rain all day, if it was just stayed overcast and cloudy, the sun never come out of the clouds, the peas may mature a half a day's worth of maturity. So an average day, let's call it 90 degrees, partly cloudy, peas would mature one day. But we had no clouds, extreme heat, peas matured about three days worth of day. And tomorrow's gonna be the same. So in the course of today and tomorrow, these peas are gonna mature about a week. About a week worth of maturity will be gained in two days. So they were not quite ready to pick yesterday and by the end of tomorrow they will be too old to harvest so we got to roll when they are ready that is the name of the game and produce is a game of hours if you're lucky it's a game of days there is a certain time when this stuff is ready and you got to get it right then and that is what i'm doing we're trying to get these peas finished up We've not shelled any of these we picked today. We've just been picking wide open. The new sheller is supposed to be running tomorrow at the new facility. Fingers crossed on that one because that one roto finger sheller is not gonna shell all these peas. So with a little bit of luck, we'll be shelling tomorrow. We'll have between what we got today and what we pick in the morning and the early a.m. We'll start back out here about 6 a.m. And we should have about a hundred of these bags stacked up there waiting to be shelled when that sheller cranks up tomorrow. Well, that's it for today. Thank y'all for watching. See you next time.